Hey guys, well, uh, welcome back. It's me. Um, I have a new video for you guys, and it is accessing the Android layer on the Light Phone 2 again, but this time it's after the version 79 firmware update. Now I understand that um, there has been another update since that update, which is version 83 that came out recently, but this is but this will work on that too. So we need our light phone and then we need my script that I, I actually created a script um, that access, accesses the Android layer for you all. So all you can do is just sit and have your tea while watching my script run. Um, uh, since the new firmware update actually disabled uh, the command to go to the bootloader from recovery and it disabled the OEM ADB enable command. So uh, all y'all were freaking out. You're like, how do I get Android on my thing? And I've come up with a solution. However, with running my script, you are flashing an older version of um, a boot, which um, enables that one command that we need to get to control our phone from the computer. And if you, there is a risk that you might not be able to update into future firmwares. Um, I know the current one is 83, but if they come out with another firmware update, there's just a chance that you might not be able to update. Um, uh, so also I would always do a backup of your phone if you can. Um, just those two warnings out there. You might not be able to update to future firmwares. However, if you join our Discord server, you will be able to uh, get the latest firmware and you'll have to flash it manually. And I'll come out with another video on how to do that. Because um, I always provide um, or I get help. And I always try to provide the latest firmware for the latest boot image and the system image, which you need to flash if you run the script. There's a chance that you might be able to update just normally, but in the case you can't, I always provide the backup version and you can flash those manually. I'll probably teach you how. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the script. Um, you'll need to go to GitHub to download um, my script that I created and you can just download that as a zip. And um, can minimize this, we go to our downloads, we open this. So you'll see that there's three right here, one for Linux, one for Mac OS, and one for Windows. Um, since I'm on Mac OS, I'm gonna be using the Mac OS script, although they're pretty self-explanatory. The readme's here, this, the, just the raw script is right here if you wanna see it. Um, Windows is a little bit more, uh, just a little, it comes with a few more steps, but it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a readme inside of the zip file on how to do that. So um, I'm going to open them. I'm going to unzip the Mac OS one. And then I'm going to put that on the desktop. All of these are pretty, pretty self explanatory. Um, uh, doing it on Mac OS is pretty much going to be the same thing what you do. Um, so I'm going to open terminal right here too. And we're going to open this, we have the script, we have everything right here. And I'm gonna exit out of that. So first we're gonna go to C, we're gonna type CD and then drag this folder in, hit enter. On Windows, you can just like, uh, it's pretty much the same. You're gonna have to download like Git and that will come with the bash terminal for you uh, for a bash, bash like that. And it's basically the same thing. So then what we are going to do is open this folder back up and we're gonna do chmod u plus x to make it executable and then we're going to take the script drag it in here and then hit enter so that will make it executable just in case there's some permissions and now the fun part which is uh where we are about to run the script but first we go to the phone um you see that my phone's right here it's powered on i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna unplug this really quick um just to make it quicker. So I'm gonna turn off the phone. You're gonna screen flashes a little bit, turns off. 
And then on the side right here, you see the volume down button and then you see the power button. You're gonna press those two at the exact same time when turning on the phone again. You're gonna feel a buzz. And then you're just gonna see a go light screen. You're gonna plug this into the cable. And if nothing happens and it's just a go light screen for a long time, that's good. That's what you want because now you are in bootloader mode, fast boot mode. And just to double check, oh, you can do dot slash fast boot devices. And then we see that our device right here is in fast boot mode, which is good. And now comes probably one of the easiest parts. So we do dot slash, we're running the script with a dot slash lp2 setup.sh and we will hit enter to start the script and what is happening right now is that it's taking the it flashed the old uh a boot so that we can use the command it rebooted so and then it just finished the command to uh use to put the phone to, it, to enable the Android debug bridge access so we can control the phone from the computer, but we're not really controlling it, the script is. And the phone will reboot, which might take a bit depending on your phone. I've noticed that some phones boot quicker than others. That might be just how like storage and stuff works. Um, right here, the phone is detected, which is good, which means that uh, the computer will, will be able to see the phone uh, later, and it might take a little bit to boot. I put a little smiley face by the phone detected so that um, you guys aren't scared. And we are in the Android right here. It put it into, well, it started the Android part, and then it started the service menu, which unlocks, it's a weird kink in the light phone, which uh, unlocks certain pop-up menus and stuff. But so far, we are doing so good. Uh, we also set the default app when we start the phone to be Launcher 3 instead of the Light Phone app. And the phone should be rebooting soon. Just, yep. So the phone should reboot. It's turned off. Should reboot into bootloader again, or we enable Android Debug Bridge access. Yep, so we just enabled that. Took 0 0.001 seconds, just so you know, just the computer flexing on how fast it is. And the phone might take a little, depending on your phone, it may take a while to reboot. And then we are in Android, but uh, we're the script is going to uh, clean up a few things just in case. It's going to start the service menu again to unlock all those pop-up menus or re-enable them after so it's still going to try to still detecting the phone and stuff like that give it a few more seconds Starting the service menu again to just in case. It's going to quit that and then the script say it's going to be done and then my beautiful name comes up written by Dylan Tingley and that's it. Your phone is now successfully in Android. So we turn on the phone and we see that we are in Android. So now you can access all the Android parts of the phone. Oh, we have Android on here, um, which is great. And now you can do whatever you want. So thank you for watching and 
subscribe if you want to um, and have fun with your light phone.